So why are there so many rabbits on this one island? And why are they acting so strangely? Now, it's normally rare to get a good look at a wild rabbit, other than a flash of a white tail as they disappear into their burrows. Wildlife expert Dr Sasha Norris explains why they're so elusive. A wild rabbit is a classic prey animal. So it's a muscular, highly nutritious sort of parcel of meat, really, for loads of predators. And it has almost no defences. What it can do is it can run away really fast. And it's got really fantastically long ears and big eyes for detecting predators. In the wild, rabbits are constantly on the alert for danger. They're top of every predator's hit list, wild and domestic, terrestrial and airborne. So a wild rabbit is a necessarily nervous rabbit. By contrast, rabbits on the island seem to fear nothing. They're completely chilled out above the ground with no sign of that legendary vigilance. In fact, they're relaxed to the point of idiocy. And rather than fleeing at the first sight of an intruder, these rabbits actually chase visitors. And the reason for this cavalier approach to potential danger? Well, the key to this mystery lies in Okunashima's past. During World War II, the island was used to make poison gas. For secrecy and safety, the civilian population, their pets and livestock were evacuated. After the war, the plant was abandoned and fear of contamination meant that the island remained uninhabited. So where on earth did all of these rabbits come from? Well, one theory goes back to that poison gas plant. Lab rabbits were used to test the effects of the gas, and some people believe that the island population is descended from escapees when the plant was shut down. But records show that all of the rabbits at the site were destroyed at the end of the war. There's also a rumour that pet rabbits were released here by schoolchildren in the 1970s, and they are the ancestors of this brood. But wherever the rabbits came from, one thing is true. Today, there isn't a single predator on the island. So these bunnies live completely without fear. And a lack of predators hasn't just made them bold. So one thing rabbits have in their favour, which has allowed them to be successful despite being such a delicious morsel for predators, is that they breed really quickly. A female rabbit can produce a new litter every month. In theory, one female and her offspring could produce over 50,000 rabbits in just three years. Now, normally, about 80% of baby rabbits are killed within three months of leaving their nest, so a high rate of reproduction keeps the numbers stable. It's why rabbits breed like rabbits. On Rabbit Island, without predators to keep the population in check, numbers have soared. It's an amazing and unexpected sight, and it's no wonder that people flock here to see them. But. Why are these rabbits chasing their visitors? The clue lies in what these people are holding. With so many rabbits on the island, edible vegetation can get pretty scarce. Luckily for the bunnies, part of the Rabbit Island experience is feeding these cuddly critters. So when the rabbits spot people, they know there's food to be had and they hair off in pursuit. What follows is a very gentle, fluffy mugging. Oh, God. <laughs>